Hello guys, welcome back to another video and another episode of Majorcraft. And today, I'm basically going to be going over what's happening with the rest of this season. Or not the whole rest of it, but at least for a little bit. So, today, I will be starting a new project. I will do a lot of work on it off camera. But also, I'm going to do a good amount of work on it on camera. Reason I'll be doing a bunch of work off camera is actually because I have a lot of other projects planned as well. And by the way guys, I did this off camera. This just an armor hull kind of thing. This one I did for the floor, the ceiling and all that. And yeah, just a few rooms for some armor out here. Anyways guys, what's going to be happening next in Major Growth? So like I said, I will be starting a new kind of base. This one is going to be a castle base. So I kind of have an idea ready. In this episode, I'm just going to start it and kind of lay it out, I guess, on what it's going to kind of look like. So that's what I'll be doing today, mostly, and yeah, I guess I'll probably end up doing a bit of a time lapse for that. I'm not going to be doing the floor or a lot of the walls or anything, just the kind of outline of the base. So yeah, that's all I'll be doing today, guys. And since it's been a little bit of an episode, I mean a little bit of, it's been a little bit of time since the last episode, I'm just going to head over to my other bases really quickly. That's not how I was planning on doing it. All right. But I guess I'll just walk over there that's fine too I was kind of thinking of flying why are there so many sheep here guys it looks like uh, the sheep have decided to take over the world so what is this normal there shouldn't be this many sheep no, this isn't normal. There's even uh, a few dead ones here. Don't mind if I do, just get some free food real quick. Anyways guys, yeah, so here's the space. And actually, some of this copper is changing now. As you can see, kind of aging. And I did add fire along here now it's a bit more dangerous but yeah i did add it here and also i guess we'll go to the big base now you know the one with all the axolotl that i totally didn't spend a while collecting But yeah, I kind of have to figure out a place to put that castle base. Because uh, I'm going to need a spot for that. And yeah, there are a lot of these guys in here. And this is just a chest area right now. Yeah, guys, put in the comments what you would want to see me do with this base. And I'll try and get that done. Because I have no idea what to do with it, actually. It's a lot of space to use, but I don't know what to do with it. And also the farm. 
room area that I made in the last episode. Don't worry guys, I'm going, it's going to be a few episodes, but in a few episodes, or so I'm going to be continuing with that and then starting to put a few farms in there. Just a uh, simple little farms, because obviously there's not that much room in there, but yeah. And I made this little tunnel at like the beginning of this world before I even started this season, because obviously I start seasons after I start the world, so. Yeah, and here's my actual chest room. As you can see in there. I kind of like it. Then here's this, which I'll be doing some with this. Maybe even... Yeah, that was not planned. Maybe even on... Maybe even for a video. I think I'm running low on rockets, so I'll have to make more of those kind of soon, but for now I'm fine. I have to go sleep, I guess, because it's night time now. And then I have to find an area for this new base. I'm, I was thinking a little bit away from the area I've already made all these bases in. But, yeah, I'll figure some out. I'm going to have to clear an area. I'd rather not, but that might be what has to happen. Also, I made a random base a bit away that I could actually, I could actually do the castle base in that area. Yeah, I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm just gonna fly over there. Just go up here. Then, yeah, it'll take a minute to fly over there, but. Yeah, this might, the last episode I know is really short, but this episode will be longer. Here's the village here, so. I turned halfway to it. Should load in in a second. Yeah, there it is. I don't know, I just kind of randomly made this base because I had a lot of, uh, Concrete left. It's not the easiest base to fly into, so uh, just give me a minute here. See, there we go, I made it. <clears throat> I have no idea what to do with this either, but here's a water elevator. And yeah, there's some snow in here because when I was making the the whole roof when the roof wasn't there I guess kind of snowed in here a bit but maybe an area around here because there's all these mountains and stuff would be a good area for the castle base I haven't really looked past that So maybe there's a good area over here. I'm not seeing any really good areas. What about this? So it's not too far from the way I just showed. This could, yeah, this could work. Where was over here? Yeah. So if you just fly this way from there, then this area might actually work. Oh, 
Wow, look at all those caves there. Yeah, and... Oh, uh, yeah. This could work. I'll look around a little bit more, and then I'll see. Okay, guys, so I think I'm actually going to use this here. I'm going to go and fill this in with dirt a bit more off camera. Then I will be back. So I have finished filling in the area and this is what it looks like now. So yeah, this is the whole area. This should be easily big enough to build this on, but now I have to get some blocks and other things to actually build this up. So I'm just going to fill in these couple extra spaces here that I just noticed. Yeah, that should be good. Also, it has kind of a natural shape to it and not just a flat side kind of thing, so that will definitely help it look better. And also, I could use this because the, I might actually put the front over here because this little hangover part here. Because if you look here, yeah, it just kind of hangs over the edge, I guess. So now I have to figure out what blocks I want to use and then get those blocks. So I've kind of decided that I'm going to start it off using cobblestone and then I'll figure out more when I get farther. So for right now, I just need to get some cobblestone and then I can head back over. Alright, so now I'm back here with the cobblestone and this kind of what I've got in mind. So I think I'm going to have two towers at the front. Okay, so six by six, I think I'll do. And then this side. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave right there open. And then now we go to the other side. But first I want to plan out how many blocks long I want this to be. Just in between right now. So now I've made it 30 blocks long, so now I have to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Oh, that actually is perfect. I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. And then, there we go, just like that. So now it should be symmetrical on both sides, which I am going for a, sm so a symmetrical build, if I could talk. Yeah, I just quickly flew back so I could get a bed so I can sleep here. So I don't have to fly back to sleep and so I don't have to deal with mobs here. Like all those zombies. This is definitely really interesting train in this area though. And a lot of llamas. But I might actually have to build this back farther so I can Do I need to? We'll see. 
because this is going to be out to the side. So it'll be like this. And yeah, we'll just go back like that. So right now, that is so both sides go back five blocks. And I do want to go more than that, but I'm going to have to build this up quickly. Okay, so now I finished building this up more and I got a bit more laid up for this because I decided to do these towers back here. So there is more, I guess, overall shape to the build itself. And now I think I'm going to go back a bit across the back towers just to kind of connect them more with the rest of it so there's that depth there when you're looking from the side but at the same time it's not too much of a depth that I can't do detailing easily I guess But yeah, this is kind of what it's all looking like now. If we go up top. It might not look too good right now. But that's going to get fixed because all of these flat walls here are now going to get shaped more. So what I mean by that is basically if we take out part of this wall let's say let's say like eight blocks then I'm actually going to do it further this way oh that should be good then I will go across just like that because then that room will remove a flat wall which will make it a lot easier to work with when it's all put together. So now of course I have to do the same thing over here. Okay, so I have to fill these in, which will mean that I will also, to keep the terrain looking good, I'll want to build up another part of that too. Just like that because now there's also some shape left in that because I don't want too many flat parts in that either I'm actually gonna fill that one in yeah that should look alright now I'm just going to do this across oh, I think I actually had two blocks over here yeah So I'm going to want to move that over again. So now I got that all moved. So this back wall should be fine now. It should be ready for whenever I want to continue it. Now that has some more depth. Actually I could even take off one block and go like that because the end part here is looking a bit shorter than I would want so now it will be seven across here but that could work out fine maybe even better than the eight so now I'm going to want to do the same with the front wall probably going to want to go out where the entrance would be so if I just take some dirt here and then kind of go to find the middle, then I'll be able to figure out where I want to come out. So I have to kind of think about how big I want the door to be. 
or the, just the entrance way. Because this, since it's a castle, it wouldn't necessarily look right if I put, actually, I guess I could just put doors on it. I could make that work. And then I just do some extra detailing around the those doors. So those doors would be going probably right here. Actually, since it's kind of a castle, instead I could just go like that. So these dirt blocks will be are probably good to be removed now, but I'm going to use them just to help me with some other things later. And now that's pretty much the whole layout for this. Oh, actually, somehow I forgot. I did want to move this whole part out. Probably a few blocks, actually. And I fell down. All right. Should be easy to just fly back up there. Fill that back in. Then yeah, just remove these blocks. There we go. Now, this here will probably come out about that far. Because that will be kind of the entrance area. In fact, even farther than that. Probably, yeah, that should be fine. And then those doors would be going somewhere else. I can kind of do this right here to make a bigger platform area for me to stand on. But the doors will be here and here, or even, I guess that won't work the same, so yeah, that will work, just like that, so now if I just build this up one more block, even all the way around, and everything and then when we have it all built up like this I should be able to kind of fly up and look at how it will look overall in the end I kind of did this right here to have that bit of depth at that corner there too just like I did at the back but a bit less So I'll need to take out um, right to that corner. Okay. So those four blocks, just like that, and then I. I think, I think I left that one. Okay, I have to look at this again. Okay, so it was right connected to that. All right, I think I have this figured out now. Just like that. That should be right. Okay, now we can kind of fly up and see how it will be looking 
overall. So if you can look, so if you look here, you can kind of tell it will look better than it would have if I just did the flat wall. Because obviously now, there's some more depth which will make it easier to put detail into it because it is not fun to just try and detail a flat wall because then you'll just have a bunch of stuff just kind of sticking out of nowhere. So yeah, that's actually going to be the base or the foundation or whatever you want to call it of the new build that I'm going to make the new base that I'm going to build and yeah that's going to actually be all for today's episode we got a decently long episode in today so I hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you do drop a like on the video subscribe if you want to see more like this and turn on post notifications so you never miss a brand new upload. And actually, I just got another idea. For that castle base, I could kind of do something like this with waterfalls coming down the side of the drain for it. That's on top of. And I could get things looking pretty good and natural over there. So I might actually use that idea. But anyways, guys. That's all for me today. I will see you in the next video.